What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional, and yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my partner, Lucky Wheels of Deals. Make sure y'all check out Custom Underscore Freaks on um, Instagram, man, for your Tumblr needs. Keep them hot drinks cold or cold hot drinks warm. Look at that. <laughs> Keep the hot drinks cold. Don't make no damn sense. All right, let's get into it, man. You got your boy, Mr. Beast. And his friend, Chris Tyson. Now, Chris Tyson transitioned right before our eyes. But uh, I, I'm not a big Mr. Beast fan. I just watched a couple of his videos. It's, it, it's kind of amazing that he makes all this money off these videos. And then he like, you know, it, I mean, he's just giving away stuff. I'm like, how do you make money? You give it sound like to me. You give, But he gets like 100 million views a video, which is insane. That means everybody in america plus other countries is watching his videos so let's get into this situation man we're gonna talk about it because i was interested in this too i didn't really i'd never seen this video uh but i was just like nobody cared to know but if you look in the comments nobody knew what was going on and everybody's asking questions about mr beast then i looked on a mr beast reddit page and the conversation was there so and a lot of people didn't like it a lot of people did not like it and they thought it was going to be bad for Mr. Beast. So the title of this video is How Will the Chris Tyson Situation Impact Mr. Beast? Of, of course, Mr. Beast was, you know, all, all down for it. Let's get into it could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast's brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this Yo, I don't know what I, what I, I would say to my friend who started wearing like uh, what they call high waist pants or low waist pants, low cut pants, and a belly shirt. I'd be like, yo, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, you still my dog? Come on, man, I want to see your belly button will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as that you went from uh, yeah, you went from a man to a boy. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, when you shaved that beard hair off, brother, yeah, it was like, hey, who is this guy? Man to boy. Chris responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine. Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. <laughs> okay, so some people just going to ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. While others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was... <laughs> so I said he got turned out. That's crazy. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife, to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long <laughs> I told y'all, if y'all go look at some of the comments on Reddit, this is all Reddit type comments. Like, it gets worse than this on Nail. Reddit. Showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, which according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating, informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak man times. I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think 
I'm not gonna say he's a bad parent, but I, I don't think he did this for the kid. This this was a anybody would tell you if you do this, this is a selfish decision. You leave your wife and kids for whatever you feel start feeling different. You probably felt different the whole time. You just um, now coming out, but I, I I don't think I think it's very selfish for you to do this. But who am I to judge? Like I'm just telling you the truth. Like sometimes people don't like to hear it, but it, especially in this community, they don't like the damn truth. Yeah, I mean, it's just a fact. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure? Although Chris wasn't. That's see, a lot of people understand it, but like I said. He won't think it's, he think it's what's best for him and his kid. And we don't know what's best for the kid because the kid doesn't have a choice. Like, that's why we say let the kids choose and decide. A lot of these kids don't have a choice and decide when, you know, what you do as an adult. Your parents didn't decide that for you, you know. So I, I think you, if you asked him at three years old, how would you feel if, Daddy was now your mommy. It, three, a three-year-old, really? Come on, man. Now, if, I, if I'm 14 and you turned out, I'd be like, hey, come on now, Daddy. You're tripping. You're tripping. But I couldn't do nothing then. But it wouldn't make me happy that my dad is now my mom. And I don't think I would have the delusion enough to call my dad my mom. I'm just not delusional. Uh, you know, he can be what he want to be. I, I totally support that. But you can't you can't force people to be delusional. That's that's what I'm getting at. Altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way, and while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room and therefore everybody was in their head as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, oh. dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the <laughs> last thing would devoid of awkward moments. However, it would... Bro, that is awkward. Like, come on, man. Like, if you... Come on, man. My friend, yeah, I'd be like, bro, you know, you... Come on, you didn't get the memo, bro. I, I know you want to be yourself, big dog. But like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Be yourself. Be yourself. But actors fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. This was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the video. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my so you're if a I got star? It, The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract, as he's forced to agree with Chris's position, as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy it's a lose-lose situation for me i really think the only reason why he keeps him around is because he's, he's he's actually his friend like if that was just a new guy that came on and he did all this stuff weird stuff on camera and we didn't have no relationship i i, I wouldn't i'd be like man you know you kind of messing up the vibe you came here for one reason then you change it all up now we got to change all but if you like my brother my friend that I've known for years and we, you know, we've had this relationship and then you come out as whatever. Man, what am I going to say? I mean, it's, it, it's obviously it will change some dynamics of our relationship. Like, um, I mean, it's just going to change. Uh, it, it won't stay the same. If it does stay the same, that means we're not being honest with each other. And I honestly would have to tell my friend how I feel. I, it wouldn't bring no hate. So that's why I don't think Mr. Beast is even, I don't think he cares because it's his actual friend. If it wasn't his friend, he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't put up with it. I, I wouldn't, but here's the thing, like, seeing my friend, me, we, we clown each other. So if my friend comes over here with a belly shirt, I'm going to talk about him. And that's my way of you being my friend. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I talk about the old him versus the new him. And it's going to be all jokes. But he got to love it because he chose that life. Not that I won't bully him, but that's just what it is. Like, that's how we friends. We, we joked about him when he wasn't gay. We joked about him when he was gay. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Like, um... So like like I said, I got a cousin. I hate bringing up my cousin. I got a gay cousin. <laughs> nah, for real. You know, we 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 went we in the hoods, and I see my gay cousin at the club, and he come up give me a hug, and my homies is like, man, who is that? I said, that's my cousin. Like, yeah, I mean, he was my cousin before. I knew he was gay a long time. Like, but they don't change the fact that he my cousin. Still love him, man. If somebody try to if, if somebody was fighting my cousin, and we. Anywhere, I'm jumping in. <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> so he, he, Mr. Beast is just riding for his friend. That's really what's going on. Like, I get yeah, the comments can get to you, but you, if you look at the negative versus the positive, if they if you got negative comments, they probably didn't like you anyway. I Man, you're getting 300 million views of a video. I don't think it's not that many people who hate it. Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for Thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no op- Bro, and all the hate comments come from fake avatars, fake accounts. Well, not, they real accounts, but they, you know, whoever they portray to be is not who they want to be. And you'll never see him. So I, I don't I like this commentary, but like he's pointing out all comments from people that's not even real people. Like if you go to if you get these comments on a Facebook page from a, a person with a picture, then you could be like, oh, we could put a name with a picture or somewhere we could figure out who this person is being hateful over online. But none of the people who are in the comment section being hateful have the real avatar, have the real name or anything that links them to them in the comment section. Voidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. Interesting, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this whole situation. I mean, I mean, be who you want to be. You know what I'm saying? But understand, there's you're going to get different feedback from other people but if, if you can be strong if you're gonna do this for your mental health but then you can't take the scrutiny that you're gonna get from it then you really did a disservice to your mental health because you made everything worse now you got to get help for the the way you feel about how people feel about you when you did it for you if you really did it for you you should be happy and understand that you won't get some feedback negative feedback i get negative feedback about my youtube channel all the time but i know this is what i do and it makes me happy so i'm i'm content with what people say about me or the videos people make about me and stuff like that so you know you got to be content with it uh, understand on your only on your truth and live with it, man. It don't. It don't matter what we say. It don't matter how we feel. You know what I'm saying? Cause you did it for you. <laughs> you can do it for us. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>